Hello everyone, it's Crystal from Shabby Chick by Crystal. I haven't done a video in a very long time, so I'm very nervous and I'm not very good at this. So, just bear with me. This is my Life of Fred Katz interactive notebook post. And I just want to show people that Life of Fred is so much more than just math. You will be amazed at what your children can learn. And you don't even have to do the notebook to do these things. I just have to have things prepared because I'm a homeschooling mom of four girls. And one of those is a nursing five-month-old. So I just have to do things right now or they don't get done. But here's my notebook. I use a composition notebook, not a spiral. The spirals, the papers tear out very easily. Okay. And I only made it to chapter 11, but I couldn't wait to get this video out. So, the first thing you learn about is constellations. And you learn about the constellations sometimes called Big Bear. And you also learn that the Big Dipper is not even a constellation. It's an asterism. And I just, that floored me because I've always thought it was a constellation. So, you may already know that. Okay. Then also you learn about commutative property. And uh, commutative property is where no matter what order the problems are in, they equal the same um, in addition and multiplication. So this problem is four plus 12. So you'll find 12 plus four on here and she would just paste it there. Um, I just made that myself, printed it off and um, anyway, and then cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. What equals one dollar? And in the little pouch, you there are four quarters. And then we'll also learn a quarter as in a quarter past in time. So she will just get the little time and a quarter past three. Um, and she'll just paste it here. She'll just paste them where they go. And there's some extra ones to throw her off a bit. Um, and by the way, she'll be in second grade. She is seven. Um, and the next thing is a coloring a quarter of each shape. And then this one, how many nickels make one dollar? And then I just printed off some paper nickels. And she will glue however many make a dollar. And there are more than 20 in here. And then we also talk about 24 hours in a day. And this says everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. And we're going to talk about time management and using the time that the Lord gives us wisely. Here we're going to learn the Greek alphabet. I actually know it. I learned it in fifth grade. We're going to learn about a dozen. How to spell a dozen. We're going to work on patterns. We're going to learn vocabulary words, and the first one so far is hoodwink. We're going to learn music notes. There's a quarter note. Up here we have quarter note, half note, whole note. And this is, we're going to find right angles. And the four main emotions. And then we're going to learn about writing a vertical problem. So if a problem is vertical or horizontal, it doesn't matter. It's the same. And then here, this really taught me something. Um, obligate carnivore and how cats are obligate carnivores. And I just found a little fact about it and printed out a cat. And then here we talk about cats being hunters. We're going to learn to count by tens and we're just going to write 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, however far. And then we actually get familiar with what one million looks like. So I just printed off one million and just made a little book. We are going to learn about the Pacific Ocean and the facts about it. We're going to learn about germs and hand washing and First thing, she's going to use ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth, and put these in the correct order. And then we are going to color germs. I thought that was so cute. And next, we're going to learn how to do a vertical line, a horizontal line, and a diagonal line. 
And then Fred goes to the doctor of one of his things, and I thought it would be really cute for her to do like a little patient checklist. And I even added a few things. Um, her, ha her hair color, her eye color, her height, her age, her weight. So I think she'll enjoy that. And then it reinforces the quarter. Um, and so we're going to take like a red marker and divide the dollar into four equal parts. Reinforcing a quarter again here. A quarter of it's colored. It talks about vowels. And you write the vowels in here. These are words without vowels. And here we learn about adjectives and jelly beans. Are, there's four. They're colorful, they're sweet, and they're chewy. So we'll learn what an adjective is. And the last thing in here so far is the place value. She's really good at place value, but I just want to go over it again and just make sure she understands it. And that is all, and I just want to thank you um, if you watch this video, and please let me know if you like it. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling. I'm a little nervous, but um, if you guys have any questions or want to see more videos, please let me know because I like making them, and I think I'll get better with time. But you guys have a blessed day, and thank you.